they said Oumuamua is probably a comet. The only problem is there wasn't any cometary tail. This unidentified object was found in our solar system. Oumuamua, the interstellar object that first captivated astronomers in 2017, is once again commanding global attention. Only this time, the stakes appear dramatically higher. Initially discovered hurtling through our solar system on a hyperbolic trajectory, Oumuamua was identified as the first known object from beyond our solar system to pass through. Its cigar-like shape, unusual tumbling motion, and inexplicable acceleration challenged conventional classifications. Scientists debated whether it was an elongated asteroid, a fragment of a planetary body, or something altogether unknown. For a time, its mystery settled into the backdrop of astrophysical puzzles, unresolved but benign. Now, however, something has changed. Before we start, smash the like and subscribe buttons for more updates. In the past few weeks, astronomers monitoring deep sky survey data have noticed a remarkable deviation in Oumuamua's trajectory. It is no longer drifting out of our solar system as predicted. Instead, it has altered its course. Its new path is steadily curving inward, towards Earth. Observatories across the world have confirmed the shift. At first, the motion was subtle, almost imperceptible, but the trajectory has grown more pronounced, unmistakably deliberate. This is not a comet being drawn by the sun's gravity or an asteroid pulled off course by planetary interactions. The movement suggests propulsion. Scientists are baffled. Naturally occurring celestial objects don't behave this way. Oumuamua's return vector doesn't correlate with any known gravitational slingshot effect. It's not following an elliptical orbit, it's redirecting. There's no known precedent for an object of its mass and structure spontaneously changing direction, especially not toward a specific target. The implications are profound. Theories that were once brushed off as fringe speculation are now being re-examined under the unforgiving light of new data. Astrophysicists, cosmologists, and aerospace engineers are working in tandem to interpret the information pouring in from global and orbital telescopes. The surface of Oumuamua remains elusive. It's too small and too distant for our current imaging technology to resolve in high detail. But its reflective patterns have changed, leading some to speculate that parts of its structure have shifted or extended. Could this indicate some form of transformation, possibly mechanical in nature? A structure unfolding or changing configuration mid-flight is not an attribute of any known asteroid or cometary body. The question reverberating through the scientific community is no longer simply what Oumuamua is, but who or what is directing it. If natural explanations continue to fail, no gas vents, no rotational mass ejection, no gravitational interaction with other bodies, then only artificiality remains. That possibility carries with it the weight of everything humanity has wondered about its place in the cosmos. If Oumuamua is not a rock, then it might be a machine. And if it's a machine, then someone built it. The psychological shift that comes with that realization is already rippling through the minds of those closest to the data. Imagine watching the first Voyager probes exit the heliopause, sending back whispers from the edges of interstellar space. Now reverse that perspective. Oumuamua could be the voyager of another civilization, a drifting relic or an intentional envoy. And now it's not just passing through, it's returning to us. The possibility that Oumuamua is an artificial probe, or worse, something far more sophisticated than our rudimentary instruments can detect, has reshaped how analysts are modeling its behavior. The shift in trajectory was first dismissed as computational error. But layer after layer of redundancy has confirmed the data. Even accounting for non-gravitational forces like solar radiation pressure or Yarkovsky effects fails to account for its speed and path. It's as though the object made a decision. Earth-based observatories have begun to notice something else. The rate at which Oumuamua is approaching is accelerating, but not exponentially. It's a controlled curve, optimized for travel, not crash. This suggests intelligent calibration a kind of efficient energy use that mirrors how we might approach planetary descent in space missions. Each passing hour, the signal-to-noise ratio in tracking data improves, and with it, the tension among the scientific elite. They're watching a mystery that grows more sentient with every data packet received. Among the more unsettling observations is Oumuamua's peculiar silence. 
It emits no signals, no radiation bursts, no indication of active communication. It seems to be observing, moving, adapting. It doesn't spin randomly anymore as it once did. Its tumbling has stabilized. Orientation suggests it is aligning itself, perhaps toward the sun or earth or both. This reorientation might not be mechanical in a traditional sense, but could involve internal mass redistribution or surface adjustments that serve a similar function. If it's a probe, then it was designed to go unnoticed until the right moment. That moment evidently is now. The silence could be strategic, waiting for proximity before initiating interaction or simply not recognizing Earth-based technology as something worth communicating with. Alternatively, it could be broken, abandoned long ago. It's return a programmed behavior, a dead script executing across millennia. Even that possibility is staggering, a derelict messenger from another star, drifting intelligently toward our world. As agencies scramble to model potential contact scenarios, a sense of collective unease is building. Governments have been briefed behind closed doors. High-altitude balloons, orbital satellites, and long-range radars have been repositioned for full-spectrum monitoring. This is not a drill, not a routine near-Earth object pass. International collaboration has surged, but so has secrecy. The knowledge that something is approaching Earth, a thing that changed course to do so, is too volatile to handle without caution. Religious leaders, sociologists, psychologists, and military strategists are now part of the discussion. If Oumuamua reveals itself to be an artifact of alien origin, the consequences will ripple through every level of society. Cultural paradigms will fracture and reform. Belief systems may shift under the gravity of undeniable proof. The understanding that we are not alone would redefine everything from science to philosophy. But those revelations may only be the beginning. The fact that Oumuamua is coming toward Earth suggests more than curiosity. If this is reconnaissance, then perhaps we are not the first world it has visited. Perhaps we are simply the next. Or maybe we are the destination it was always meant to reach, awakened by some interstellar proximity trigger or ancient navigation logic. That possibility introduces timelines that extend far beyond human history, across epics, across voids. Still, there's the question of why. Why now? Why Earth? Are we emitting something detectable? Radio waves, electromagnetic emissions, Signatures of carbon-based life that drew it back like a beacon? Or is Earth part of a pre-established route, a point of interest on some ancient star map? It's worth noting that since the 20th century, Earth has been broadcasting its presence unintentionally across space through television, radar, and other transmissions. What if Oumuamua was always listening, and now it's coming to respond? The implications of contact, assuming that's what this leads to, are staggering. Would it come bearing knowledge? Would it request something in return? Would it even understand us? Or us it? This could be the most pivotal moment in our species history, an encounter that either elevates humanity or overwhelms it. And there's also the darker possibility. What if Oumuamua is not an emissary, but a sentinel? Not a visitor, but a trigger. If this object is following a protocol established by some extinct or extant civilization, its arrival could mean many things. It might be programmed to assess biospheres and report back. It might be passive, waiting for us to interact with it first. Or it might have thresholds, instructions that activate based on environmental cues, patterns of movement, or even language. Our satellites, broadcasts, and digital infrastructure could be interpreted as noise or signals, or even threats. The distance between fear and wonder has never been narrower. Some scientists hope Oumuamua will pass close enough for robotic intercept missions or signal pings, though time is short in closing. Others warn against contact, recalling cautionary tales of explorers encountering the unknown. Curiosity could be fatal, yet doing nothing may be worse. If it comes and we remain silent, what message does that send? Even the most skeptical researchers now admit that Oumuamua has defied every category. It is no longer an anomaly on a chart, no longer an errant rock. It is acting, it is choosing, and it is coming. The questions multiply faster than they can be answered. What material is it made from? What power source, if any, could sustain its apparent mobility? What drives its intent, if it has one? We do not know if Oumuamua will enter orbit, land, or pass by again. We do not know if it will open, signal, transform, or remain forever silent. But it is approaching and its approach is deliberate. 
In the absence of precedent, we are left with preparation and speculation. The skies are no longer silent. A messenger from the stars has turned its gaze upon our world. What comes next may redefine the universe for us all. If you liked this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, leave your comments below and tell us. What are your thoughts on Oumuamua moving toward Earth? Will it hit us? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.